Hello and welcome to another edition of Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Hinkle with Cheeky Scientist. And today's question, this week's question, is from Merv Clark. And the question is, I am doing a second postdoc, uh, the experience of which turned into hell for me. All right, uh, So not good. I am interested in um, transitioning in my career into the healthcare industry with with clinical research, so so they want to get into clinical research um, um, and positions related to an MSL position, so a medical science liaison position. Since I have no experience in either, I've been having a hard time finding the right position. Uh, this might sound familiar to a lot of you. We've had a lot of questions on this, right? No industry experience. How do you, how do you get an industry job? Uh, the question goes on. Uh, because I don't have the experience, I'm, I have been applying to entry-level positions or trainee positions. Uh, but this time my PhD gets in the way because it overqualifies me for entry level positions. Um, how do I break away from this vicious cycle? Uh, so the problem here is that, is that Merv is applying to uh, you know positions at, at one level uh, that require industry experience and not getting into these positions because uh, she doesn't have any industry experience. And then she's also applying to uh, another level of positions in which she thinks she's overqualified for these entry level positions that might just ask for an MS degree. Okay, so first we have to break down um, some misconceptions here. Now, every position you apply to, it's gonna ask for industry experience. You know, uh, job postings are just hiring manager wish lists, they're, they're templates. So you're gonna see at the very least two to five years of industry experience required. But of course, PhDs are getting jobs uh, out of academia into industry. Uh, you know, how are they doing this without industry experience? Uh, you know, it, it's it's because industry experience is not required. It's always just going to be asked for. So you should still apply to these positions because you can still get into them, um, especially for MSL positions. Uh, MSL positions are very hot right now, right? Medical science liaison positions. Uh, PhDs are being hired into this. Uh, this year alone, in our association, we've had three, four, five be, um, hired into MSL positions. I think we have two or three that are at uh, Bristol Myers Squibb alone. Uh, so so big companies are, are hiring into this position and it's something that if you know how to apply, if you network and actually get referrals, you can get into this you know, right out of academia. Now, the, the second part of that question is, okay, what if I'm overqualified? Now, we've also had a lot of associates and we've seen, you know, we've done polls, we work with hiring managers, recruiters, and we see over and over again, that PhDs, when they apply to these positions that they might be overqualified for, or that just ask for an MS degree, they come in and if they, you know, do a great job on the interview and the company really wants them, right? Because no company's going to turn down a great job candidate. They will make positions for them, and that's what happens. Is we see PhDs going into these positions where they might be a little bit overqualified for them. So what does the company do? They they create a new position, right? So it might be from you know XYZ manager to senior XYZ manager. Right, so it might be an R&D or a bench position, and they might go from a research scientist position to a research scientist two, a research scientist three, or a senior research scientist, just as an example. Uh, if it's a technical cell specialist, they might be called a senior technical cell specialist because of that PhD, and very often they'll get paid higher as well. Um, so you should still apply to positions that ask for industry experience, where you might think that you don't, you're not quite there yet, they're too high, and then apply to those positions that might seem below you as well, that you might think that you're overqualified for. Apply to them, go on the interviews, go through the whole process, make them want you bad enough, and they could create a position for you, or you might just get into that, that dream job that you want, whether it's a medical science liaison or anything else. So until next time, remember your value as a PhD, and continue thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.